If you like Iraq, you're going to enjoy, you're going to love Iran. Is this the direction that the United States should be taking? What, how, whose interest are we here in the United States protecting by following the Israeli policies to the grave, literally to our military grave? Speak up, tell us, especially those of you who deal with numbers and with budgets and treasuries. What has come out of this for the American people? And now they're talking about a recession, very serious problems, the economy of the, the dollar and the way it is slipping. What are you going to do about all of this? Continue down the same road of destruction so that the head honchos in Tel Aviv can laugh you, laugh at us all the way to our self-inflicted disaster. Is that what we want? And these, remember, just to train your memory, seven years ago, eight years ago, there were some figures that you could not miss in the media. They were always there telling you and me and everybody else how it is important for the United States to take on Islamic terrorism, Islamic fundamentalism, and the rest of this. They've been doing so, so intensely that now in the heads of those who are running for the highest office in this land, it has become an elementary piece of knowledge that the future is a future of war against Islamic terrorism. This Islamic terrorism that they are speaking about is the one that they supported and they sponsored. And now they are using it for the strategy of extending policies of hostilities towards one-fourth of humanity. Not to speak about the other policies of hostilities around the globe. These individuals are like almost spies. They may have American citizenship, but they, in the core of them, they are Israeli Zionists. And they thrive on the ignorance that we display towards what they are doing. We should beam the spotlight on them. Where did they go? Like rats running away from light now. You want some names? Mark Grossman, Paul Wolfowitz, Richard Pearl, Douglas Fife, Eric Edelman, Louis Libby, just to name a few. Where are they? This is a time when they have to answer some questions and they go into hiding. Come on, let us hear how you're going to account for the policies that you are responsible for. I know this was a time of lunch. Some of these words may have been enzymes along with your meals, but to others, they may have caused indigestion. Thank you for your patience. And those people in Gaza, and those people in the occupied and usurped Holy Land, our hearts go out to them in this time of challenge. And for those who are using weapons of mass destruction. <laughs> Our hands one day will bring them down from their towers of arrogance and hubris. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh and peace be to you and Allah's blessings and benediction. Thank you once again.
thank you, Imam Ozzy, for this enlightening talk. And uh, before we get to question and answers, we have about 10 minutes for that. I'd just like to remind everyone that we do have another talk with Imam Ozzy. It's going to be held at 6 p.m. in Emerald Bay B inside the Student Center. And this talk is going to be on global politics. So now we can get to question and answers. Right here. Uh, Imam, thank you for the talk. I just had a two-part question. The first one is, there's a lot of signs around here that say stuff about 